So how is ethanol made? How do you get alcohol from corn? It's a simple biological process which utilizes some very sophisticated techniques and equipment. Simply put, the process goes like this. Corn is ground to a fine granular consistency so that the starch matter in the kernel is exposed. Water is added. Enzymes are added to this water. This mixture, called mash, is heated to around 185 degrees. At that temperature and with the help of enzymes, the corn starch in the mixture breaks down to become fermentable sugars. It is cooled to 92 degrees and yeast is added. The yeast consume or eat the sugars, a process called fermentation. As the yeast ferment, they release carbon dioxide and convert the sugars into alcohol. This fermentation process takes between 52 and 62 hours. Once the yeast are done doing their job, the resulting mixture is actually called beer and is about 17 to 18 percent alcohol by volume. Beer is pumped from the beer well to the distillation column, where heat is added. The alcohol exits the column at 95 percent alcohol vapor. It moves into a second distillation stage and further distills to 195 proof alcohol. The alcohol then passes through a condenser, which turns the vapor to liquid. Once in its liquid form, the alcohol passes through a molecular sieve process to extract the remaining water. This results in the final ethanol product, which is 200 proof and 99% alcohol. It is transferred to storage tanks and then loaded onto rail cars for shipment.